Welcome back, everyone, to Civil Wars. And yes, so this time we're gonna try to take care of the situation, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. The problem is you. Absolutely, the problem is you. Let's deploy that division just to have a little bit of extra help. And yeah, since we are pretty much under when it comes to rifles, we're gonna be in a bit of a bad shape for now. What about that motorized group? We do not have trucks. Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna be moving in. Yeah, as you can see, most of our units just took some pretty nasty losses because um, the agrarians probably had a very high popularity in our country. So of course when the Civil War triggered, yeah, actually uh, the Civil War basically pushed us over the edge for high popularity. Now, when all your enemies revolt, you don't technically need to fear them internally. And yeah, just in general, not gonna be that easy. Now, let's try to push in as quickly as possible against the agrarians so that they have less time to react to our deployments because we need to take them down very very quickly before the dominion has a chance to declare war on me uh, militias have appeared the creation of the socialist muslim committee so french syndicalists have revived the muslim committee international and have invited us into it. The new committee will be spreading socialist propaganda to the Muslim world and coordinate with the help of regional left-wing parties. This could be the perfect opportunity to gain a credibility in the Muslim circles both in India and abroad. The downside of this committee in, is the possibility of galvanizing further religious conflict, so we'll gladly support the idea. Uh, the reason that gives us more political power is that this uh, area, Bengal, actually is uh, a rather eastern Bengal, modern-day Bangladesh, is actually religiously Muslim and also it said that that gave us some rifles which I am of course very very happy about I do like more rifles uh, yeah right now front isn't going all that well however this Western front and not poor is definitely going to fall much easier to us. Actually, they appear to have a lot of guys. But, not oh, damn it. Pulled in a unit. We need to capture Nagpur itself. We can capture the county capital, then all their other units will basically be surrounded and worthless. So we're gonna focus all of our forces onto there and try to see if we can get a decisive breakthrough. That's going to be our main objective. Whereas here in the west, seems like we have some problems because the AI is dumb. Like, really dumb. <laughs> you saw there, right? Like, it split the two. split the two commands because of these mountains, but it put only one division over here, so I. When I saw, when I clicked there, I saw that like everybody was going over here to the east, so that was a little bit ridiculous. Well, uh, we're just gonna be slowly, slowly. <coughs> yeah. Cough. We're gonna be slowly, slowly moving our way down to Mandalay, and unfortunately, they have managed to defend not poor, but. They have opened up their flanks, so we can surround them there. No, don't go all the way to the other side. Break on through to the other side? No, that's not how our army works. And there we are. So now the objective is to surround Nagpur. In the meantime, we're going to take you guys out. You are moving here, so we are going to very quickly try to block you up. We want to destroy this unit in the mountains. 
as quickly as we can so that we do not have a oh damn it stop we need to stop okay so we took the preparations and now they're complete great uh, otherwise we will not be able to let those forts defend against Ellie and now we should probably try to get as much army buffs as possible so let's go with the new Barafia army still do not know how to pronounce that that's fine let's see if we can get a counterattack on them and then destroy those two good how are things going in the main front I should probably slow down the speed actually so that I have a bit of a better know-how of the situation. Let's surround that one infantry division. Looks like the uh, sort of northern front is not going well at all. That's where they concentrated their forces. So it's good that we have more forces in the south because uh, that's where we're going to be able to advance towards Yangon. Now let's take down that division which is now surrounded in the hills before they can come up and around the mountain, the impassable terrain, and then try to do that, try to relieve them. Let's retreat across the river to Imphal, and then try to slow them down as much as possible in this vicinity. Okay, so we have reached a pretty decent position here in Nagpur. The problem is this guy does not want to lose and I'm going to reinforce instead of continuing to pressure on him I'm going to reinforce with my cavalry my um, 14th rifle division. Unfortunately it looks like you're in a bad way. Let's try to defeat this infantry division. Damn it. That was not quick enough. Oh well. Uh, we are now trying to contain this as much as possible while we continue pushing east. Come on, we just need that unit to go down and then... Oh my god. Please take them down. Quickly. Quicker. Do it. Yes, do it. Good, perfect, finally. So now I'm actually going to focus my attacks onto this eastern portion, this eastern province. I want to break through them and then reach Sitway so that I can surround all of these divisions. You're actually going to stay there and provide a bit of a flanking protection. So they're moving in all their units to Chittagong and that's going to be great. I'm going to use these two divisions to hold them here. However, we need to take these down very quickly before they can send up reinforcements, which is not going to be easy. Okay, how's Nagpur going? Pretty okay. We're going to finish off that infantry division. And finally, I'm actually going to just move to the neighboring province. Okay, there we are. Where are you going? I have no idea what, where that rifle division is going. But, oh well. Now we're in a good spot. We're going to move three divisions to this eastern province. This province east of Sitway. And hopefully that can even out the odds a little bit. We're going to sever the connection between those two units. Attack Sitway itself so that they cannot move the units from there east and then that's going to be in the surrounding and destroying pretty much all of them great get me some more artillery good so now it's just a question of battering them frontally until they they cannot hold it anymore because since they're surrounded, they're going to just fall eventually. And ooh, that's problematic. I was not expecting it so early.
I was not expecting it so early. I'm going to make a fallback line. Because of that. Right over here. Just to avoid any problems. And yeah, they are not... They are not giving me the favor of dying. Which is very bad. Because the Entente is very annoying. The Entente really likes naval invasions. So we're going to need to be quick in defeating the remnants of the Agrarian Revolt. Let's see if we can push for Yang and with you. Of course, the Canadians are going to call in all their allies, which is really annoying. We need to be able to take this siege to its conclusion. I don't really care if I lose all of this. Because it really isn't the most important industrially. I really want to keep, however, West Bengal and East Bengal. Because, as you can see, that is the most of our factories. If we can keep this, um, this core intact and under our control, we're going to be in a good shape regardless. Uh, we're going to have most of our factories intact, etc. And it looks like they have help coming. That's annoying. Of course, of course, they're calling in everybody. I know, I know. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. So most of my army, thankfully, seems to be saved from the west. I'm just going to leave these guys here. They can take as much territory as they want. The agrarians aren't that much of a problem. I can always deal with them later. The big problem is the Entente. If the Entente can continue its nonsense, then we're going to be in trouble. Because the Entente is way stronger than the agrarian revolt. Actually, there's a bit of a problem right now. Our national unity is low. I'm going to take that volunteer, thank you very much. So we might have to defend more of our territory. Because we are already 45% towards capitulation, so... Now that's 10 victory points. Evil. Might have to defend that state over there. I mean, overall, except Hyderabad... Doesn't really seem like there is a lot of VPs anywhere. We should be able to survive losing Hyderabad. We should, I say, but it's not 100% sure at all. And now we can finally break this pocket, it seems. We need to break that. And then, after that's done, I can pick up of something. Come on, just destroy them as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Good. Now, after that is done, I am going to try to defend Imphal with this river. And keep the line basically as it is right now. Like, I'll just send one more division to occupy this mountain, Kachin. In Kachin. And, yeah, I'm going to just keep the rest. I'm going to keep uh, one of you. Plus a militia defending Sitway Harbor. I'm going to keep three infantry divisions defending this uh, choke point. I'm going to get one infantry division 
to move there. And then we're going to move all the other troops to the fallback line. Thankfully, the Dominion of India has taken a damn time uh, advancing in the west. So, we're not going to be in the worst of shapes for now. These three infantry divisions should be way more than adequate to defend the choke point. There we are. And then we're going to try to lure them into a advantageous for us position. Lure them, I mean the Entente. By them, I mean the Entente. Okay. Uh, let's do the training academies. The fallback line is going to be expanded. Like that. So that we have more of a coverage along this river defensive line. This is hills, actually, so... This is going to be okay. Should be able to stop the Anton troops in this kind of way. And unfortunately, right, the Entente has an air force. So this is going to be incredibly annoying to deal with. But as long as we can hold on with your life, uh, which should be possible. I mean, Hyderabad has fallen and it's not like that was a lot of that was a lot of VPs going down, because it's not a core, right? So, yeah. As long as we can sort of keep the West sealed off, defeat the Agrarians, and get our uh, industry back from Burma, and then defend our Eastern core, we're going to be able to eventually just out-attrition the Dominion of India, I'm hoping. Because the AI is generally really wasteful with its manpower and equipment. So if I can sort of use that to my advantage, then we're going to be golden. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to break through here. Damn it. So my aim right now is to just keep the bare minimum uh, here in Bengal. Keep the bare minimum, build up some forts, do that as quickly as I can, actually. Some fortifications would be quite great, and then build up some military factories as well. Let's finish that civilian factory first, though, so that we have more building power for everything else. Because this is a good defensive position, this is a good defensive ground, there's a lot of rivers, the weather is pretty bad, so they're going to be facing some severe attrition. And yeah, that's basically about it. Eventually, they're going to be able to use their air force to get effect, but... The AI is usually pretty bad at doing that. So, yeah. Now, Orissa's kind of a problem. Orissa's got a VP. But I feel like we can keep... Yeah, I feel like we can keep that VP there, and it's not going to be that much of an issue. Okay, so they're actually attacking us here, which is great, because it's going to allow us to break them in return. Now, we probably do not have the forces to take Rangoon right now, which is really sad. But the Agrarians... Most likely do not have a lot of factories. No, they have six. So any units that they lose... Are basically units that they lose forever. They're not going to be able to replenish that equipment. So that's how we're going to defeat them. We're going to absolutely out-attrition them. So the focus right now is to defeat their units on the field. You know, we can try to cut them off. This is very risky. We can charge for Tungu. Oh no, they're already bringing in their units. They're already bringing in extra troops. That's not going to be enough. Let's see if we can run for Rangoon. We might be able to slow them down enough with a couple of attacks.
they're probably gonna have troops in Rangoon itself, actually. Let's see. Yeah, this slowing offensive isn't gonna go that well. So let's move back. We need our troops as concentrated as they can be. If we can keep this defensive line held, it's gonna be much, much better. Ooh, this is an opportunity. Looks like the north is not in a good way. They redeployed, either redeployed troops south or did something. Let's try surround. Oh, they're all retreating. Well, at least we were able to regain some territory. If we can get up to this sudden river, it's going to be great. That would be a much better defensive position than what we currently have. And they have a naval invasion coming in. Wonder where. Oh, that does not matter. It's just our additional territories. Might actually be good that they take them. Now, that may sound weird. Why would it be good if they take your territories? Uh, it might stop the bad events coming in from um, from having to occupy that territory, which eventually might, you know, start running into political power issues. And we already have enough of those. Uh, this seems to be a bit of a problematic development. They're sending their troops back up. No, 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 just kind of stay here. Okay. There we are. That's what I like to see. Progress. Ours the surrender progress. Well, we are going to survive. I am pretty certain of this, actually. We have a chance. The problem is going to be, again, defeating the Agrarians first. And getting enough rifles out. Actually, one thing that seems to be pretty important right now... Damn, we do not have a lot of production at all. And support equipment is starting to be a problem, so I'm going to remove that. Just to get a little bit of extra. Yeah, so we're now in a decent spot, I guess you could say. We need to, again, reclaim these factories down here. Otherwise, it is not going to be good. And a slow and steady crawl south goes ever forward. Our line here should be able to hold. Are these forts actually building? Not really. The forts should be a priority, you know? They're kind of important. Okay, so somehow the Mexicans managed to push themselves onto an encirclement. Wait, the Mexicans? What? Agrarian Revolt? Who's that? Location is owned by Agri Oh no, it's just one of my territories that's left over from earlier. Okay. That is fine. Mm, we 
need to not lose that at all. Like, you just do not need to get any of this line penetrated. I'm going to attack on multiple angles, actually. So that the AI is more confused. It's always my tactic. Good. However, there's some problems. Looks like the Colombians sent in a division to help out the Agrarian Revolt, which is extremely annoying. Okay, that we know we didn't stop them. That is extremely bad. Let's see if we can pull the line back to the rivers once again. Because that's going to afford us a much needed defensive advantage. And they're actually coming in with a naval landing on Kakuta, but the police should be able to hold that. Again, uh, what we need to do over here is just hold until... Oh, damn it! They managed to overrun my infantry with a cavalry division. That is... Uh, aggravating. Honestly, that should not have happened, but... That's fine. We just need this flank to win. Wait, what? Why are you not moving in? Nope. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, that fort not building, that did not help. Actually, I don't want these Assam forts building. Right now, they're not that useful. More naval invasions. Oh, well, that's Calcutta. We're going to be able to hold. Oh no. Okay, let's see if we can send you back around. Oh shit, we need to defend that flank, absolutely. Okay, looks like we managed to confuse the AI, and Central America is sending us some lend -lease. So the AI seems to have mostly stopped its main push, which is exactly what we needed. A little bit of a moment of reprieve to build up our defenses. And do that. And of course, defeat the Agrarians. Because it seems like they are finally kind of buckling under pressure. If we can take Mandalay and Tongu and Yangon, it's going to be definitely a. Um, it's 
going to definitely mean the surrender. Problem is, exactly how do we do that with our reduced forces? I have no idea. Also, more naval invasions. That's okay. Yes, of course, I will take a non aggression pact, my friend. As long as you continue giving me that land lease, we're going to be in pretty good terms. And there's some. Okay. Not sure what that was. Bit of a lag spike. Let's see. If we can cut off this part from this part, the end of the, the, the Franco-German War. So for good or ill, the war between France and Germany is now over. For ill, the France-German War is now over. General staff have reported that they've learned many valuable lessons regarding the nature of modern warfare over the course of the conflict. Plus 5,000 manpower, not much else. I mean, manpower, for now, isn't really all that important. We're pretty well off when it comes to manpower. The problem is industrial capacity. Weapons. That's what we need. And yep. I knew that you were going to try to do that. Also, you're going for Dhaka port. Uh, we need to quickly... 13 hours, eh? How quickly can you go there? Oh my god. Four days. Yeah, well, we need to take them down as soon as they're ashore. And unfortunately, this river is going to be a bit of an obstacle to that. Because otherwise the Entente can land in a whole lot of troops behind our line, which is going to be not fun. Come on, we need this infantry to come in around and flank. Because once they're there, then we're going to be in a pretty decent spot. I'm actually going to send the militia up from Sitway. Okay, looks like this is going all fine. And we can defeat this breakthrough, which is great. Pull in the cavalry there and help out defending in that province. Come on, we need Dhaka port to be held by our men. One division over here is not fighting. Seventh rifle division, get in there and fight. Take down that French unit before it can cause any problems. Now we need to sustain our breakthroughs. In the east. I'll send the militia temporarily there, and of course we got surrounded. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack there. Okay, Dhaka is now secure. Damn it. We need that province to not fall. God damn it. That is so annoying. Please take that back right now, right away. And they took down that division. That is absurd. Okay, let's reorganize this a little bit. That is absolutely annoying. But these five divisions are going to be there. These two divisions are going to be up here. Now 
And these two divisions are gonna help. Okay, we're gonna aggressively charge in. We're gonna accept the land lease, thank you very much. Although, I mean, I'm guessing that most of our... Uh, most of our convoys are going to get destroyed along the way, but that's okay, because any rifle that gets through is basically another guarantee that we'll survive for another month or so. Yeah, we're in a pretty good position. We're just about to cut them off from Mandalay to Rangoon. It's just not close enough, though. I'm gonna end it right now, so I want to thank y'all for watching, hope you're enjoying a little bit of a harder challenge one, and that's fine, because usually Prince of Iron 4 is a little bit too easy. Uh, well, let's check out the world actually very quickly, so Kingdom of Spain winning the Civil War, uh, looks like the Soviets are having some problems because of course Germany took down the French, they're now invading the Union of Britain, and so the Soviets are eventually going to go down to the Germans. Most likely, I mean, one-on-one -on -one with all those other fronts that the Soviets are facing. Of course, Japan, Turkestan, Mongolia, and uh, the uh, Mittel Europa Don Kuban Union. Wait, are they Mittel Europa? Actually, no. So it was all the doing of Tukhachevsky. So they're not going to go well. The CSA, however, is... Oh, Reed died. But other than that, the CSA is doing just fine. So the CSA is going to be our main hope at this point. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. What the heck? Why did you... Anyway, yeah. See you soon.